stuff. All right, Jaleesa, we are out in the, what you call this, the tripping level. Yes. <laughs> of the uh, New Health and Leadership Lodge. And behind you is one of our, one of yours, one of Canton Wago's um, old war canoes. First of all, how old is this canoe? This was built between October 1936 and May 1937. Yeah, it's it older than me even. Yes. <laughs> So uh, the restoration project, how long has it been going on and what, what prompted it and, and tell us the history of the boat, tell us everything. Okay, so this canoe was built by Old Town Canoe and it was shipped to Camp New Wago in the 1930s and it has been used heavily since then. I believe it's only been restored once since the 1930s, which is wild because when our camp alumni used to take this canoe down the Muskegon River, which if you've canoed it, realize it has like rocks and barriers, and this is a canvas canoe, meaning that if the campers in this canoe in the 1930s and 40s were to hit a rock on the Muskegon River, they have told us that they would pull over on the river, start a fire to heat up the canvas and patch it along the river, which is like banana. So it's like, don't hit a rock, <laughs> I can't imagine. So this canoe has been well loved since the late 1930s and was actually christened by Herbert Hoover and his wife, who happened to make a trip fortuitously up in May of that year. They were not coming just to see Camp Nuego, but happened to be in the area. And there's an article in our camp archives about them happening to make this stop out at camp and they asked if they could do kind of a, a camp moment and they christened this canoe down at the waterfront before its first voyage on Pickerel Lake, which is very cool. The Herbert Hoover. The Herbert Hoover, who and was what, president. Well, he, well, he, he was the president at the time. He was, he was after, after his president. Okay, yeah, yes, yes. So we still call him president, but he wasn't yeah, active. Yeah, yeah. Still a big deal, very yeah. cool. So this canoe was restored in the early 2000s along with our fleet of canoes. Uh, by Scott Barkhold, who does Skywood Canoe Company, and he's one of the few people nationwide who have the expertise, who learned from master Native American craftsmen um, from the Potawatomi Band of Indians on how to restore these canvas wood canoes. So our whole fleet of canvas wood canoes was completed in 2009. This canoe, unfortunately, had a run-in with some of the pylons in Lake Emerald a couple of years ago and did not survive it well. And we've tried to patch it, but had been leaking ever since. It will not leak again. This thing is now solid. So Scott made a trip. Scott Barhold from Vermont, from Skywood's Canoe, came up to teach some volunteers at Camp Nuego, along with full-time staff, how to expertly restore this canoe. So it started this past April and it's like a two and a half month process. So the first process is completed, which is repairing the wood. So we had to strip the wood out in a lot of areas, replace it. We worked with a local Amish woodworker to get some really beautifully, you know, national, uh, locally done wood back in the canoe, which is lovely. And then the new canvas was stretched and now it has a sealer on it that has to sit for six weeks before it can be painted the patented Camp Nuego red. Okay, a couple questions. Do we know what kind of wood? Yes, so this is oak and then it does have some wall, black walnut in it, which okay. was what was added. All right, and how many, um, did we have volunteers working on this? We did, so this was headed up by Ryan Boven, our facilities director, and we recruited Kurt Sanderson and Chris Boven and Doug Medema, all as part of this restoration process, and it was wild. It's had two weekends of work. Um, they were very intensive, late into the night, uh, master craftsmen working on this canoe. It is an amazing process to see everything that goes into it. Can you show us where the damage was? Do we know? It was underneath okay. the canoe, all right. but you can see all of this wood that's been replaced here. So the gunnels right here, all yeah. of this had to be redone and kind of stretched to be warped. So a lot of this wood was rotted out um, just from age and yeah. you know, as, as the canoe warps and things like that. But so many of the pieces of this are original. So even within the canoe, I mean this, the bones of this are still from the 1930s. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, cool beans. Well, thanks for our canoe. We hope you come use it. We're thrilled that something this historical and beloved still gets used. And I think that that's a really incredible thing in programming is that sometimes you do something beautiful like this and people say, oh, just hang it on a shelf. You know, don't touch it because it's so valuable, it's so sentimental, but there is a beauty in teaching children and adults 
how to use things that are precious with love and care and how you can then stretch out that analogy to and say and how we love and care for this precious thing is how we should love and care for all of our natural resources how we should love and care for one another how we should love and care for the environment for you know the climate and so we're excited to use this as a learning tool and to have it be a piece of history that has been with Camp Nuevo uh, for almost 100 years yeah it should be used right